Angelina here. Thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time here, I am so excited that you're here. If you are returning, thank you so much for that. This is the second video in the series that I just started, Tech Tips with Jorgelina. Today I am going to be showing you how to make your uh, thumbnails using Canva. So if you are a uh, if you are on YouTube and you have access to Canva, which is free, I suggest that you join me and see how quick and easy it is to make a really cute thumbnail. Hopefully, if you like mine, you can get super super creative. I am not that creative, but I do know how to use the tools that are available for me. That is one of the mathematical practices that I abide by. Use the tools that are available. So if this is the kind of thing that you like, please consider subscribing and following me along on my journey. My videos are just kind of all over the place. I love all things luxury. I love Harry Potter Legos. I have yet to do a video on that. But if you are here for the tips, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, so we are going to be creating the intro slide to our, or the thumbnail to a YouTube video on today's tech tips. So I actually have one here that I have a bunch of copies of all of the ones that I've made. These look like my own. Uh, so if you have been following me along on YouTube, you would see all the ones that I've made. Uh, you can see them there, but I'll show you that in a little bit. I just wanted to show you that within Canva, you can actually just look up for YouTube. Um, so let's look up YouTube thumbnails. thumbnails, And you can use a lot of these, right? They have so many different ones. Look at this one, 10 reasons why I quit my job. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna edit this one. And I'll make this one. It'll be a little different so that you can recognize it later. So you can see this is the one that I actually used at the beginning. But I am going to call this one um, Tech Tips Thumbnail. So we'll make them a little different. So I'm gonna erase the picture and let's do Tech Tips with Jorgelina. It's gonna be the name. I don't need this one. I guess maybe we can thumbnails. I'm gonna highlight that whole text and probably make it like 80. All this you can customize it. Doop. I'm gonna bring this one down here, this one up here. And then let me see my elements because I had already brought in actually uploads. So you can upload any images here, but I had used this one already, the Canva logo. So that's what I'm showing. So I'm gonna put this one up here. So these are all images that I've used already on my thumbnails. Now I wanna put a picture of me, right? I'm a big old face. You can change the colors. Look at how this one's pink. If I wanted, I can make it blue or purple, uh, really any color that you want. I kind of like that one. Maybe a blue one, let's save that one. And then I'm gonna change this color as well then to, yeah, why not? I like it. All right, now let's bring in the picture. So I'm actually going to airdrop a picture of myself like the awkward part. I'm just airdropping a picture from my phone into my computer. And let's bring this up again. And hold on, of course. Probably should have done this better. You could just drag and drop it. So I'm just gonna take this and drop it. You can also always go to upload. But on this one, I actually want to remove the background so i'm going to click on the picture i'm going to go to edit image and i'm going to remove the background so i should get rid of my legos and let's see if i like my big old face Ta -da! i think that's okay so this will be the thumbnail that i use for that so i'm going to go to share download 
and I'm gonna download it as a PNG and now this thumbnail is ready to go for when you see this video so you'll be able to see this thumbnail on there so very easy to create a um, to create a thumbnail for your videos using canva there are so many templates already uh, ready to use I'm gonna show you what I do so that then they all look very similar this one will be different oh come on all right so th these are all the ones that I've made in the past all right so I save them they all look very similar these are the uh, latest ones that I've done you can get really creative with them um, let's use this one I'm gonna duplicate this one I'm gonna erase my picture oh why aren't you working oh it's a really big picture and my next video is actually a uh, what is in my bag I guess what's is what people say what is in my bag <laughs> what's in my bag and let's make this 40 Ooh, too small what's in my bag and it is the graceful graceful so now let oh actually I don't think I have all right we're gonna save this one for the next one I'm gonna duplicate this again because actually the picture that I took is my new college So it's a college handbag. It's my next video. And I think that's what I have a picture of. All right. So see, and I have three. I just need to put a picture on this one in the background, change it around a little bit. But once again, I'm going to go ahead and airdrop the picture that I have. Or just to do it twice because it helps. And so I suggest the same thing that you keep um, that you keep your template open. Oh, what's this one? Usually I don't like working in full screen anyway, so I wouldn't be doing this, but because I'm recording my screen, it just works better. All right, so on this one I have two options really. I don't hate my background, right? I like my Legos in the background, so I could keep it if I wanted to and the way that I would do that is I would take this and I would make it just be the size of the image and then I'm gonna go into let me close this out I'm gonna go into position and I'm gonna send it all the way to the back so again that was position all the way to the back it disappears and then I'm gonna bring it forward so that it's just in the back of these right so I'm gonna leave this one like that. Again, I don't hate the fact that uh, my background is the way that it is. You can, all, I like having the black border. You can do that too. Right? Maybe making it a little bit smaller like that. There's still a black border around. So you can get really creative with these. I am going to now download this part. So file, download. And on this one, I have it set to uh, a movie. I don't know why it formats to that one. So I just want to make sure I change it to PNG. And then I don't want to download every single one of them. I just want to download the current page. Go done and download. And there is my current page. So you will see this on my video that goes up on Tuesday. I hope that you found this useful. Let's go to that outro. All right, super quick video. So I hope that you find this useful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it if it was useful share it with anybody and let me know what you found useful in the comments below i will be forever grateful if you hit that subscribe button and the like button if you enjoyed it and i will see you on the next one bye